So if I click on the icon, I can get the detail as to what's happening and what the delay is here. So it's the A40, and there's a one minute delay to apparently to construction. And if I click the arrow there, I get the detail about where specifically the incident is, yeah. how long of a backup it is, 3.2 kilometers. And again, you saw earlier that it was a one minute delay. Yeah. And so if I went back, navigate the route, what will happen is if there's a traffic delay, this icon will change color. Mm -hmm. and either be green if there's no traffic or yellow or red if there is traffic. And then when I click the icon, I'll get uh, a summary of how many kilometers my to my destination and then where along the destination there are traffic incidents. Mm -hmm. And each will give me <coughs> an estimate of the delay and I can click on each of them and get the same level of detail that I just showed you from the uh, summary map mm -hmm. screen. Is there an option to switch um, live to the fastest route, um, not only per distance, but uh, based on the actual delays you have because of traffic jams? So when, um, okay, that was one minute, um, that's not a good example, but if there were 30 minutes, um, it would be quicker for me to take a free route, which would take me 10 minutes longer, usually. That's right. Indeed, what, what the application does and what all TomTom -Tom devices do is when there's a traffic incident, it calculates all of the possible alternatives to you. And then it recommends if there is an alternate route that allows you to save time, that you consider taking that. And yeah. then it gives you the choice if you want to stay on your, on your current route or if yeah. indeed you want to take advantage of the alternatives. When it calculates the alternatives, it looks at two things. It looks at the traffic information that it has on those roads. And so mm -hmm. if there's traffic on all of the other roads, it factors that in. And it also looks at the IQ routes information we have about how fast traffic typically travels, even if there's no incident on the road. And so it's constantly determining whether or not there's possibly a faster way to you, for you to get to your destination mm -hmm. and to get around traffic. Mm -hmm. So indeed, it is very much time-based um, when it prompts you to, to take an alternative. Yeah.